The 26-year-old came in fourth place with Marcel Somerville on Love Island last year before they split recently, and is now watching the new series, spilling her thoughts on this year's most talked about contestant. Speaking at the Diva Awards, when asked about this year's show so far, she exclusively told Express.co.uk, I think everyone is obsessed with that Adam guy and I can't deny he is good looking, but I think there is so much more than that. I want to see more of his personality before I can be like on his side. I think because he came in as the bombshell, he thinks he rules the roost a little bit. Adam, 22, entered the villa later than the original cast, choosing Kendall Ray Knight as his first choice to couple up with. After two days, he dumped the brunette from the island to couple up with new girl Rosie, a 26-year-old lawyer. The pair have since hit it off, with the twosome struggling to keep their hands off each other. However last night's events revealed a different story, Rosie quizzed Adam after new girl Megan Barton Hansen, 24, informed her about his flirting with her. After confronting Adam, the brunette could be seen crying to her fellow Love Islanders asking, why am I never enough for someone? Later in the evening, Adam told Rosie his words had been blown out of proportion. Elsewhere, Gabby believes Haley Hughes, 21, could be this year's biggest game player. The Scouser is coupled up with model Al Booker, 22, but earlier this week the pair came to blows after he confronted her over backstabbing him. When asked who she believes could be playing a game, Gabby revealed, it kills me to say it because she, Haley Hughes, is a Scouser, but... I loved her at first, she's so beautiful and stuff. But she's contradicted herself a few times. Gabby also believes Danny Dyer, 22, and Jack Fincham, 26, have a good chance of winning the show, like last year's couple Kem C. Cheney and Amber Davis. When asked who she thinks could win the £50,000 cash prize, Gabby revealed, Danny and Jack, at the moment I put my money on them. But discussing a recent game of truth or dare on the show, where Jack revealed he wouldn't mind coupling up with Haley if he was given the chance, she added, he's contradicted himself a couple of times too so. You know what, I think he was stupid what he did last night about the whole Haley thing but I think he only did it to get a reaction out of Danny. I think if they both stopped playing games it could be good. Love Island continues tonight at 9pm 